Hey guys, welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto from the perspective of a miner. So today's video, we got a new CKB miner. This one from Gold Shell. This is an update to the little box line. This is the CK Box 2. Um, so, so far it looks like they didn't go with the Pro moniker, which is what we were kind of expecting. Um, so far from their Twitter, they're calling it the CK Box 2. Um, so let's get right to it. Let's take a look at it. So this is from their official Twitter account. It, the picture kind of looks more like a render. I don't think it's an official thing of it. Um, so looks wise, right off the bat, looks like those Ipolos, those ETC miners. Very, very reminiscent. The way the little grills are for the fans, the color of it, it looks identical to it. I don't know why they would go that route. Seems kind of weird. Um, the one big difference, though, is you can see here there's two six-pin power supplies. So not just the one. We got two, um, which looks like it's because it's going to use more power. And also, hopefully, they upgrade these things because I know a lot of people with, like, those mini doges. Seems like it's almost specific to them, but uh, they, I know they've been having issues with these, uh, these pins actually burning out. So hopefully they upgraded those. Um, this could be to alleviate some of that because they were kind of on the top end of that. Um, but we do see the two power supplies there. Again, very reminiscent of that iPolo. I don't know why. Again, I don't know why they did that. They should have done something cool. These things aren't going to be making much money. They should have at least made them look cool. Maybe they'll get something there, throw some RGB, anything at this point just to get people interested. Um, so initially, they didn't release any details, but we did get some details today. This is from the uh, Gold Shell Discord. So I'm assuming it's real. It wasn't tweeted from one of their people, but if it's on their Discord, I'm sure they would have deleted it by now. So again, this isn't 100%, but it looks like it's going to be official. So it's going to have two modes, the main mode being a 2.1 terahash at 400 watts. And it's going to have like a low or eco mode at 1.54 terahash at 260 watts. Um, so preliminary, right? Again, these aren't final, but right off the bat, not looking too great. Okay, this is looking pretty similar to the uh, original one. It's beefed up, obviously, has a little bit more, but not a significant difference, considering the upgrade we're going to get with this Bitmain, this K7, right? So it's definitely not going to keep up. Um, not much of a surprise that they released this, considering that the K7 will be dropping next month. So I'm sure they had this in the pipeline, possibly releasing sometime in the spring, but because of that announcement, they're going to be trying to push everything up. Okay, so anything they had in the pipeline, they're going to try to manufacture, produce, and distribute as quickly as possible because this thing is going to be irrelevant once that K7 drops. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. You got to keep that in mind, even if this is priced pretty uh, aggressively. This is something that currently, right now, in the bear market isn't going to be too great. Something in the bull market, maybe, but right now the timing of this thing is kind of horrible. I'm sure they weren't anticipating the K7 coming out and completely wrecking them. Um, but that's what that is. Um, so let's look at what the numbers actually look like, what profitability looks like. Um, so again, 2.1 terahash, 400 watts at a 10 cent kilowatt hour. Not looking good. Right off the bat, it looks like it's not even going to be profitable. Okay, we're using the CryptoCal calculator. We're inputting it there. Seems to be, for the most part, accurate. Um... So these are preliminary numbers, again, not official, but if it's anywhere in this range, this is where you're going to be expecting, which is not good at all. So even if this thing comes in at dirt cheap at like 200 bucks, keep this in mind, right? Um, so even in the other mode, at 1.54 at 260 watts, you're breaking even. So a little more efficient, but you're breaking even. So why even do that? Buy the freaking coin. Okay, even if this is, again, it's in the two $300 price range, just buy the coin. There's no point in doing this right now. Um, again, in the bull market, there this is going to be a good niche market for them, um, especially if they increase the efficiency. Right now, this thing is horrible efficiency compared to the K7. Again, this is why the K7 is going to destroy these things. Um, Let's look at, so this is going to be 
These are the stats for the K7, in case you're unfamiliar. It's 63.5 terahash at 3,080 watts. Very profitable, right? It's because it's so much more efficient. Obviously, a much larger miner as well. Um, going to be way more expensive, but just way more efficient. Um, we can do a quick little calculation um, so we can compare, right? So this one being the 63.5 terahash, we're going to divide by the 2.1 because that's the max what the other one's going to produce. So you would need 30 of these little boxes to produce what one K7 is going to do, which is ridiculous. So that just gives you an idea of how much more powerful this K7 is and why it's going to destroy all these gold shell things, even these next-gen gold shell things, especially if this is all they're coming up with. We we're hoping that they were going to be more efficient, but again, I think they got caught off guard by Bitmain, and this is what it is. Um, so just keep in mind that, yes, it's 30 of them. So even if it's dirt cheap, it's also at 400 watts. So let's do that real quick. 30 times the 400 watts, it'd be 12,000 watts, guys, compared to the 3,080 here. So it'd be a four, they use four times as much power. Okay, so again, even if they're dirt cheap, it's just so much more inefficient that it doesn't make sense. Maybe by the next generation, by next year, or the year after, they're able to get that efficiency up and then there will be a market for it, right? These like a miniature version of like what, uh, what the K7 produces would, is, would be interesting, okay? But they have to get their advancement up. Their technological advancement is just not there. This efficiency is horrible in comparison Again, I'm sure they got blindsided and they're going to try to rush this to the shelves as quickly as possible, especially before this K7 comes out. Um, there's no release date. And considering that what they have released is a rendering of it, this is not even a production model. You can kind of tell when you zoom in a little bit. To me, this is probably not even going to be out in the next month or so. It's probably may just not even come out until the spring. Again, we don't know. Um, regardless, we do know the K7 is coming out in January. And if this thing is already unprofitable now, it's going to be ridiculously unprofitable by the time the K7 comes out. So even if the K7 were to have no effect on hash rate, which we all know it will, it will have an immense effect on hash rate, this thing is already not profitable. Okay. Um, hopefully, maybe they can bump these stats up by the time the release comes. Maybe this is preliminary. Maybe this is not accurate. But if it's anywhere in this range, compare it to that K7. Okay, once we get the official stats, if it changes, I'll do an update. But at this point, if it's anywhere near, it's not even going to be worth that time because it's just so much less efficient. So very, very disappointing. Um, it was good to see something new came out. But again, just gold shells way, 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 way behind and not going to be able to catch up. Um, so just keep that in mind because this thing is going to release. I'm sure there's going to be a sale on it when it comes out. Again, even if this thing is two to three hundred bucks. My opinion is not going to be worth it at all. Not even something to hold on to the next bull run because it's just so much less efficient. Okay, so if something like this comes out, let's say a year before the bull run comes and it's like, let's say 10 tera hash at 400 watts, then maybe if there's a ton of price depreciation, then maybe it'd be worthwhile, but definitely not now. Um, so again, keep that in mind. I'm sure there's going to be, if anybody else was considering doing a CK or a nervous network miner, they're going to be releasing it, trying to push it to the market now. So I'm sure this won't be the only one. I'm sure there may be other ones. We'll see what comes out. But um, just keep that in mind that the hash rate is going to drastically change. This thing as of now is not profitable. Any other manufacturers are most likely not going to be profitable either. I'll keep you posted though. If we see anything, um, and pay attention to the yield. Do these calculators because I'm sure... As a last resort, we may, may see Gold Shell try to like pump the price. Don't be too surprised if you see some crazy pump with, you know, Kadena or CKB. It's probably going to be a BS pump just to try to sell these miners. So don't be surprised if you see that. May not. Purely speculation. No basis behind it. Just that would be an easy way for them to sell some of these boxes if they were to artificially inflate the price now. So when people do these profit calculators, it doesn't look too bad. Right, but look at the current price action compared to everything else. 
see if it's a realistic price point. Okay, but again, to me, even if this thing pumps, let's say if 4X is between now and the release date, it's just still so inefficient comparing it to the K7 that it's still not going to be worth it. Okay, so you got to pay attention to that. So not just the profitability, looking at the profitability calculator, look at your yield, look at what it does, do the calculations, compare it to the next best thing. Okay, the whole purpose of uh, getting any kind of equipment now is to get the best stuff you can get your hands on. Don't waste your time with this garbage. Okay, prices are cheap. They're actually available to get. Go for the best because, again, if you're investing in ASICs, you want to get the most profitable thing. And if it's something that this that's this cheap, buy the coins. They're at dirt cheap prices right now. You're better off spending, instead of spending 300 bucks on this thing that you're never going to ROI on, buy 300 bucks worth of CKB if it's something you're interested in. Okay, um, so keep those things in mind. Um, so again, just a quick one, guys. Just wanted to give you that update because I'm sure we'll have the official price points and release dates here in a little bit. But that way you're aware of what to expect um, as far as the stats go, profitability goes. All right. So again, guys, hopefully you learned something. You got something from the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys updated. And thank you for watching. And I am out.